two. Is Toastmaster Cassandra Santos. Cassandra and her partner have built several businesses from modest savings to a multi-million dollar business. She is the chief operating officer, we'll just say CEO for short, for four successful property management offices in Florida. She doesn't believe in the phrase doing your best, because what if your best isn't good enough? She believes in doing all that you can do in life and in business. She is presenting her speech today titled, Would You Follow You? Let's welcome Postmaster Cassandra. So we all have talent, skill, a gift, something that we're just really good at. We're passionate. The problem is sometimes we're not willing to do anything else, especially if it doesn't give us that instant gratification that we crave. Salespeople are notorious for this. We have a we have turgid egos. It's sort of like the thrill the kill mentality. How many salespeople are in the room we can sort of relate? Some of us are gatherers and some of us are hunters. I am a natural hunter. We even have a theme song that plays in our head when we get that deal. Mine is a uh, Cardi B money. And for those of you who are not millennials, <laughs> that's equivalent to uh, Donna Summers, she works hard for the money. <laughs> <laughs> so there are many people out there that are leaders, naturally. They'll lead the ship, they'll take charge, and, and they'll want to go ahead and, and rally the troops. So those people, ladies and gentlemen, are usually <laughs> when trouble arises and you look around the room, you know how you can identify the leader? Look for the person that's smiling. Why? Because they're thinking of the person that they can blame. <laughs> so how many of you lead a team now or have direct reports? Okay. So you'll probably be able to identify with my journey as a leader. On my journey and my research and my conferences and, and seminars that I attended, there's one question that all of you should ask themselves. Would you follow and do? Because if you think you're leading and nobody's following, all you're doing is taking a really long walk. <laughs> Back in 2010, my longtime mentor and I uh, combined our savings <coughs> and start our own residential property <coughs> management company. I was really good at property management and closing the deal, and he had 15 years experience in corporate America and leadership. On a few occasions, there would be things that come up that I wasn't comfortable or confident addressing. So I would usually pass it on to my partner. So the first quarter, we didn't meet our budget, and we've got to figure out what to do. I would say to my partner, you handle it. <laughs> or we had an employee that had an issue with dress with the dress code, and um, that's kind of <coughs> you handle it. Um, so we need to go ahead and redevelop the compensation plan to drive results. Oh, that's hard. You handle it. <laughs> well, later on down the line, we decided that we wanted to expand into another hot market, and I realized that while this relationship that I had set up was working for me. It didn't really serve me well, because if we wanted to grow, I had to get out of my comfort zone and get into my potential zone. How many of you believe that knowledge is power? Well, I say to you that applied knowledge is power. For example, there's power in these walls, and the way that we would access it is by clicking the switch or plugging into the power source. My point, action is required. So my partner encouraged me to start acting like the leader that I wanted to be. He said to me, faith it to make it. That's faith it to make it, not fake it to make it. And let me tell you, I needed all the faith that I could get because three months in, I made a huge mistake. I did not turn in payroll on time and my staff did not get paid. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't have any plans. 
But that's when that darn question popped into my head again. Would you follow you? The honest answer is H-E double hockey sticks no. <laughs> I was mortified, terrified. What if I failed or made a mistake like this one? So I ran to the bathroom in a panic and I called my partner and I was crying and sobbing uncontrollably. What? I messed up. What do I do? Help me. And he asked me the first question. Are you crying? There's no crying in business. <laughs> Get it together, girl. Your team is relying on you. So I wiped the snot off my face. And I tried to calm down. And I said, okay, well, what do I do? And would you know what he said? He said, handle it and hung up. Fellow <laughs> 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 Toastmasters on guest that day, I realized and I understood or discovered the five levels of leadership. And I would love to share with you my experience with all of the levels. Level one, position. That's where we all start out. You are appointed. So my strategy is to basically separate all the people that hated me from the people that were a little undecided. So at the end of the day, I made a mistake, okay? I screwed up. I missed payroll. But what I did is I humbled myself and I went to my team and apologized and told them I'm going to put measures in place to make sure that that never happens again. Position. It's a great place to start, but you don't want to stay there. The next level is permission. People follow you because they want to. This, this requires a little bit of um, self-realization. It also requires that you understand we all have a blind side. So what I did is I asked everyone to take a sheet of paper and write down what they wanted me to start, stop, and continue doing, and to give me honest feedback. Put it in a bowl, and I would go to lunch and come back on my way, on my way home, and I would read it. It was the hardest thing I ever did, because they were actually very brutally honest. But I learned a lot, and I like the fact that I learned so much that I continue to implement this practice, and I implemented a tool called Office Vibe, and it anonymously surveys my employees on a quarterly basis, and I don't know who's responding, but they always get a response back. The next level is production. That means your people perform, and they follow you because of what you've done for the organization. Every month, every week, we have a problem to solve, something we were doing well, and people didn't know where they stood or how they were graded. So we impl implemented Biosigns. Biosigns is where they know what's expected of them, and every month they were able to hit their targets. The last one, or the next one, is people development. People follow you because of what you've done for them. We invest in our people, we pour into them, and we give back to them. Pinnacle, people follow you because of what you represent. So all that I would say to you is I would ask you to sincerely ponder the question, would you follow you? Remember, we're going to be voting for two when we're done here.